only $15 per piece, could this stop you from losing your drone? So sent to us directly by VFly, this little finder device could be invaluable to those of us that love flying racing drones, and there are applications for other drones as well, potentially. But basically, this is, instead of fitting just a buzzer, it acts as a buzzer, but it also acts as a lost model alarm. There's nothing worse than crashing your drone in a large field with long grass, and you can't find it because the buzzer doesn't work because of the battery disconnecting during the crash. So inside here, we get a little connection cable, which basically you're gonna to use to solder onto the flight controller or a power supply on the drone. The other side hooks into this, and this is the V-Fly Finder. It is tiny. Now it only weighs four grams, and you can see there we've got an integrated buzzer. Now this is not your regular buzzer. It actually puts out a volume of 100 decibels, which is super loud. We've got on the other side of it a tiny little lithium polymer battery supply, and then on the back you've got the port which you connect the lead into from the flight control. That gives it its power supply, but also when the drone is powered up, it also automatically charges its inbuilt battery. Now in the event that the battery flies off your quad during a crash, this inbuilt battery here, which is connected to this buzzer, is going to get that buzzer going off regardless. So that's going to be lovely and loud. There's also a little button on the side, and you use that button to disarm the buzzer. So obviously, if you're disconnecting your battery because you finished flying for the day, you need a way to stop the buzzer going off. That's what the button does here. And basically, you hold it for between one to five seconds, and that will disarm the beep. It comes with full instructions in here, and there are different connection methods depending on the flight controller that you've got. So I was curious as to whether the V-Fly could be connected to a model like this, just generally via a power supply, rather than specifically to the buzzer connectors on the flight controller. To get the answer, I messaged V-Fly just a few minutes ago, and they have already replied. And their reply confirms, yes, you just simply connect it to a ground and the plus five volts. So that is really, really good. It means if you don't want to go messing around with the buzzer ports on your flight controller, you can just use a generic power supply from the flight controller. But anyway, let's get this thing tested. I'm gonna solder it onto one of the models and we'll see how it works. So I'm here at the field and what I've done is put the VI Finder or sorry, the VI Fly Finder, onto this little King Kong quad here. Uh, now this is very crudely fitted. Also, I've connected it directly to a five volt power supply. I'm not gonna fly this quad, it's literally just an example. Uh, and there's a battery on there as well. I've also got my little Baby Hawk R here, and that's got an internal buzzer, which is about as loud as you'd expect on one of these quads, sort of an average volume. So what I'm gonna do is put the Emacs over by those trees over there, and I'm gonna set off the internal buzzer so that you can hear the volume of that buzzer from this distance away. So let's do that now. So this isn't a significant distance away, but generally if you're putting the Vi VI Fly Finder on a small micro quad like this, then you're not gonna be flying it miles away from yourself. So this is a kind of average distance, I guess. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put it there. Okay, so by the tree. Now we're probably only, I don't know, 40 meters away, but it's a good basic test. And depending on the volume that we can hear it from at this distance, that will give us a good idea of the theoretical distance that we might be able to hear it from. So let's now enable the buzzer on that quad. Now I can hear it. I don't know if you guys can on the recording, but I can just hear it, not loud, sufficiently enough to be able to find the quad. However, if this had dropped into big, deep, thick undergrowth behind a load of trees, not a chance could I hear that. So what I'm gonna do now is bring that quad back and I'm gonna put the VI Fly Finder quad in the same location and I'm gonna activate the beacon. So as soon as you connect power to the quad or to whatever it is, the drone, as long as it's got a five volt power supply, uh, I think they said it can support up to eight volts, nothing more, unfortunately. Um, that now arms that little finder. You can see the little green light on it there. So with that armed, as soon as you unplug 
the battery on it, it sets it into quiet beeping mode where it will beep for 30 seconds at very low volume. After 30 seconds, it hits its full maximum volumes. Okay, so to simulate a battery off loss, I'm now gonna gather up my bits <laughs> and unplug. You hear that beeping? So that beeping is the initial 30 seconds. Now, the reason it does that is so that you don't deafen yourself when you're just simply changing the battery. Now, if you were to put a brand new battery on that, it would go silent again and basically disarm itself. So very shortly, it should go to full volume. Can't hear the quiet beeping from here. Any second now. So hopefully you can hear that. I can hear that really loud. There it is again. So every two seconds or so. And it will do that apparently for over eight hours. <laughs> so if you haven't found your drone or quadcopter within eight hours and that with that kind of volume, then it's definitely lost. <laughs> Now there's no doubt about it, that beeper is much louder than any of the standard buzzers that you can buy for quads or that are fitted to flight controllers. Oh yeah, that's really, really piercingly loud. <laughs> there it is. That tiny, tiny little buzzer there is what's generating that sound. To disarm it, you press and hold the little button there for three seconds and it gives you the three quiet little beeps to tell you that it's finished and it's disarmed. So you can install this on any drone, any plane, any wing, any glider, basically anything which gives you a five volt power supply. Um, so if you are installing this on a drone, uh, such as a Phantom or a Mavic, for example, it's not uncommon for those to crash um, occasionally, most of the time pilot error, uh, and for the battery to pop out. And you can't find it other than uh, GPS location from the app. But if you're in thick woods, you know, GPS location is gonna be a very little consequence uh, if you can't find the exact spot or the exact tree that it's stuck in. So as long as you can take apart that drone in some respect and find a five volt permanent power feed, then you're gonna be able to charge up the battery, the inbuilt battery in the finder device. And also as soon as that five volt power supply cuts, in other words, the battery falling off the drone, um, it will know to start triggering that alarm. So yeah, nice little device, very, very cheap, lovely and compact, very, very lightweight at only four grams and perfect for any quad. This is a micro and it's not a massive amount of additional weight for it. If you want to look at more details of it, take a look at the video description where you'll find a link to the VI Fly website uh, and any other details you might need. Thanks very much for watching. Comment below with your thoughts and give the video a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching.